All right, Joey Stroop here, Bike Man Technical Tuesday, explaining how we hook a stone bill up on the dyno. Hope you like it. Alright, next step here, uh, we put the coupler on, it has a taper just like the sumo clutch does, and I'll have the four bolts that line up with the U-joint that end up going into the dyno shaft. So this piece will go on first, and we'll get the sled up uh, almost in place, and we'll get the other piece on. All right, let me explain a few of the things you saw me doing during that uh, time lapse video. So these two items here are in and out fuel. So we'll have, since this is a return system, we intercept the fuel going into the fuel rail. Uh, with this one, we measure how much fuel is flowing through there. And we also intercept the one that's the return line coming back from the fuel rail to the tank. So if you take the one, and then make the return a negative value, we can figure out exactly how much fuel uh, the engine is consuming. Another thing you saw me hooking up is these lines here. Uh, we have a thousand gallons of coolant outside and we run off of the snowmobile or UTV's thermostat and we have a cooling tower right over here and that is fed with uh, the fresh coolant from outside uh, as it gets above whatever temperature we have it preset to so if we want to simulate our heat exchangers running at 120 degrees uh, we can set the cooling tower over there to 120 degrees and it will be just like we're driving down the trail uh, if we want to simulate like a low snow condition we can make our uh, cooling tower set to 140 degrees or even 160 degrees and we can get our tunes right during all those different places. I also hooked up the throttle so 
I can run the throttle from uh, inside my office in here. And I don't have to be sitting on the snowmobile while we're doing a dyno run because that wouldn't be safe at all. Uh, let's walk around here and we can look at some of the other things we did. I tied down the snowmobile uh, to the stand. And right in here, this is the coupler that comes out and takes the power and puts it right into the dyno. Uh, this is our dyno, this is what's called an absorber. And you can see as I wiggle this, uh, this piece is free floating. This is attached to it. And what this is is a, a torque arm. So we actually measure how much torque we're putting on this torque arm and we can figure out our horsepower from there. So this is how uh, we can get our numbers repetitive, consistent, and accurate. Uh, it's one of the best dynos you can buy. It's a Superflow 902, and that's all.